What's up, everybody? This is Devin Lavore. You know, the devil is not going to come to you with red skin, a tail, pitchfork, and horns, okay? He's going to come to you dressed in a business suit, real dapper, dapper Dan looking. And he's going to talk smooth, he's going to be real charismatic, and you're going to like him, okay? You know, unlike Jesus, who when he showed up, a lot of people did not like him. Just saying. You know, the devil's also not going to come to you and say, Hey, what's up? I am trying to deceive you and drag you to hell with me. The devil is going to try to appeal to your humanity, to your heart's desire. He's going to make you feel like you are the most important thing and you deserve everything he's telling you you deserve because you deserve it, right? That's how he's going to do it. Right? And if you look at the things that the devil used to try to trick Jesus, to try to tempt him into doing something he shouldn't, if you look at those things, just isolated things, they're not actually bad things. If you look at the uh, way um, the devil deceived Eve, it's not actually a bad thing, the, the act of eating fruit. What made it bad was the way the devil tried to make them do it. You know, the way the devil tried to make Jesus go about doing what God wanted him to do. See, because there's a lot of people out there who are trying to do the will of God, but the way they're doing it is completely demonic and filled with the devil and motivated and fueled by the devil's ways of doing things, you know? Do you think God cares about social justice things? <laughs> he is the author of justice. His very, found, his very throne is founded on righteousness and justice. That's question number one. Question number two, do you think he knows the right way to go about doing something? See, because the fear of the Lord gives you knowledge but it also is the pathway to wisdom. Two totally different things. Knowledge is just knowing what needs to be done. It's knowing what needs to be done. Also, wisdom lets you know how to apply the knowledge, how to do what needs to be done, okay? And all of us, apart from Jesus, apart from having that relationship with God, apart from having the Holy Spirit present in your life right now leading you, you do not know what to do or you don't know how to do it. And not only that, but your knowledge of what to do is really limited and skewed and shaped by your church, your culture, your whatever, you know? See, this is why Jesus said many follow the broad path and few find life because very few will die to themselves and everything that they've sunk their heart into to form their personal identity to make themselves feel significant in the world people aren't going to die to that a lot of people aren't going to die to that because then they're going to be like well who am i without all these things that's why i made that video about labels and it's like if i stripped all these labels away who am i then you know, that's a good little quick little one and a half minute video that you could watch. It'd be very encouraging to watch, but it also is thought provoking too, because who are we without all those labels, you know? But the devil, he's going to come along and he's going to try to label you. He's going to try to put his understanding in your head, which is not an understanding at all. It's not understanding. It's called deception. You know, so it's like as human beings, I'm talking to human beings here. I don't care what labels and identifiers you have placed on yourself. You've got to decide, are you really for the truth? Do you really want the truth? Because the devil most of the time is going to come to you and he's never going to disagree with you. He's going to do whatever he can to lobby for his way to be accepted in your life. And he'll change himself, he'll, he'll change his dress, he'll change his hair, he'll change his color, he'll change, he'll change whatever he needs to change as long as it will get you to accept him. As long as it will get you to accept the doctrine and the teaching that he's trying to get into your head. Jesus ain't going to do that. Jesus is going to come to you and say, hey man, this is who I am. Do you want me for who I am? Because, you know, I got some things to say that you're going to like, I got some things to say that you're not going to like. Um... 
but you, you got to make that choice, you know, and a lot of times most people are not to that place where they're willing to just give up their lives. You know, they're not willing to give up everything that they value. So I hope this video made you think. I hope it re uh, it can help you recalibrate your heart compass to be like, what am I really living for? And does God say that it's good? Or is it just me and my group and my people that are saying it good? And I've rallied myself around all these people that are like, yes, men and agree with me and like all my stuff that I post on Facebook and all that. And it's like, is this really the Lord? See, because if you know the Lord, he's telling you that already because he's the one who's directing you to do what you're doing. You know, you don't have to guess and be like, well, I hope it's God. I think it's God. No, you know, if you have a relationship with God, you know, okay. And all of my videos, honestly, are for that one reason, to encourage you to get into relationship with God and really know him for who he really is. So, happy journey, folks. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>